Hey guys, Dan here with another quick trade paperback review. This time I'm reviewing Kick-Ass, The New Girl, Volume 1. Um, I do have to admit that I heard murmurings about a new Kick-Ass either like a year ago or two years ago. And that was what made me pick up, accidentally, the reprints of the Kick-Ass series that were called the Dave Luz Luziski Years. I probably mispronounced that. But yeah, that's what made me mistakenly pick those up thinking it was the return of a new Kick-Ass because I heard murmurings that there was going to be somebody who was going to take up the green scuba suit and become a new Kick-Ass. I just wasn't sure who that person was. And honestly, I forgot what Kick-Ass's real name was. So yeah. <laughs> Now there's a new kick-ass, um, her name is Patience Lee, and uh, I have to say I was a little bit hesitant going into this one too, because I read uh, Hit Girl in Columbia, and Hit Girl has like a trilogy that's new that came out. I'm honestly not even going to seek out reading volumes one or volumes two and three of Hit Girl, because volume one, Hit Girl in Columbia, was horrible. It was so bad that I, I just have no interest in continuing on with Hit Girl. So yeah, um, but this on the other hand, written by Mark Millar, Kick-Ass is back. Um, Mark Millar does a very good intro, you know, showing us that Precious Lee, she was in the military, she served in a tour in Afghanistan, and certain events happen in her life, and she needs to turn things around, so she decides to pick up the hit, the kick-ass uh, identity. And yeah, she decides to take on the rival gangs that are ruining her neighborhood, as she says. So I found this to be very interesting. I found this one to be a more mature, uh, more tactical kick-ass than the original kick-ass um she knows what she's doing she's not like the original kick-ass who was just kind of lame and would go out there and get his ass kicked instead of kicking ass so this one it's got a lot of action and adventure going on and i mean don't get me wrong she gets her ass kicked at times but she always comes out top dog so that's why I really enjoyed this, and I don't want to spoil it, but the ending was superb. I never saw the ending coming, um, <laughs> because you wouldn't expect it, and I think Mark Millar really did a really good job writing a return of Kick-Ass. Um, I'm super excited to find out... Um, what book two is going to be like because I know Steve Niles, 30 Days a Night Steve Niles, is working on, he's worked on uh, book two of Kick-Ass, so hopefully it'll still be as good as this one, and knowing that he's involved, it's probably going to have like a horror, really gruesome edge to it, so I cannot wait. I did rate this four out of five stars on Goodreads, very, very good re-debut of a popular series. If you have never read the original Kick-Ass, go out and seek those books because Kick-Ass is just one of those all-time great reads. You have to read it. And this is just... It, Mark Millar does not let us down with the return of Kick-Ass. This did collect uh, issues 1 through 6 of the new Kick-Ass. So that's all I got for you guys. Of course, as always, I will have a link down below if you would like to purchase a copy for yourself. Um, any and all purchases made through that link greatly help me out. Anything at all, like, you want to buy, like, a bookmark, it helps my channel. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you're looking for more trade paperback graphic novel comic book reviews, this is where it's at, baby. Go ahead and hit that subscriber link. And while you're there, hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video every week. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, later.